Roebling Roads Raceway. Um, it's a local event they have. We saw the car close put together. Uh, this is a road racing event. This is uh, a little bit different than sprint racing. Uh, you have an open practice. Then you have, uh, for today, we're having two 20 minute races, time races. Standing start, uh, very different for us. Uh, but it's fun, it's different. It's uh, all about finding a drafting partner and going. So, uh, Miguel, myself, and Dad are racing together. So, we'll see how mad Dad gets us, gets with us at the end of the race. Enjoy, guys. Here we go for race number one. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, this is a standing start. So, for road racing, when the flag goes up, uh, that's a one minute timer. Um, here we have a two flag wave due to two split classes. The flag will go down half mass and then when the starter race happens, it'll wave down. Uh, here you're just allowed to bump, not really hook up and go. So uh, it unsells the car a lot, but with these low power motors, uh, you really can't hit t maximum velocity without bumping the other person up to speed. Um, we just try to do as gently, as cleanly as possible, but it really, you feel like a pinball machine moving around. Uh, Quincy got up in front with the 27. Uh, 27 and Quincy were both quick. Uh, here we go. He comes back around. Uh, just Miguel and I's goal was to get out front, try to stay out front, uh, not really get mixed up in the pack too much. Our gearing was much higher, so we didn't have much top end. But on the slower corners, our speed was uh, was a little bit quicker. Just down the front straightaway, we struggled a lot. But I think the head one evened out the competition. Uh, 39 was quick as well. And uh, Quincy was up in the group with them at this time. At this time, we got shuffled back to the back a little bit. Uh, this is a drafting track. Uh, leads changes happen a lot. There's a lot of Dawson around for position, uh, a lot of bumping and trying to staying off each other. Uh, but like I said earlier, you really have to pick up some speed, and to do that, you need a bump. Uh, when we got back to back, um, I really wasn't going to work with anybody else I didn't know from the group. So <laughs> when I would get close to anybody I didn't know, I would just drag the brake. Not that they're the individual driving was a bad person or anything. I was just not gonna help out anyway, I didn't know. Uh, so you see me drag the brake a lot. I really didn't let off a lot. I just dragged the brake to keep the motor revved up. Uh, 27 is on the inside, I don't know how he fell back there either. Uh, and then we just started to try to work our way back up to front. The seven car, that was in a completely different class. So he was able to clear us uh, pretty cleanly and easily. At this point of the race, I was trying to make my way up. I saw John and Heath. I was going to try to slide behind Gabe, but the 902 shut the door on me, and then that would have left me go out to dry. So I stayed behind Heath and uh, decided to help him and John uh, up to the front, uh, which we accomplished at the end of this lap. Uh, I was hoping to try to get back in front. Uh, here you can see I just didn't have enough gear to suck up, uh, but without the bump draft, the motors weren't able to make up enough speed, and I had enough lower bottom end power. So I duck out, uh, catch the draft of the other cart in front, and I was able to get a good push from behind and uh, take the lead again at this point.
Here Gabe went to slide down on the 27. Uh, I had a really good run on the outside. Um, just just left him in the middle. I hate to see that, but sometimes that's happened when it comes to drafting. Um, here we're coming up to the run. Here we we uh, touched just slightly, uh, 27 myself, but I could tell now that there is no one close. But coming up to the start finish line for a checker flag, this is not where you want to be. Uh, at this point, I thought Miguel was still behind me. Uh, it was not the case, and you're going to see here. If I could download the song to Celine Dion, the Titanic one, uh, you understand why. Because it is the loneliest feeling in the world when you look left and you have no push or draft and everybody just blows by you. Like you're standing still. Awesome job to Gary Campbell and Quincy. Gary came like a rocket, took the win. Quincy finished second. Awesome job, guys. So, got done with practice and the first race of the day. Practice uh, went really well. I was drafting with uh, Miguel and Rubens Jr. Uh, we were running pretty good lap times pretty quick until the uh, sprocket decided to uh, annihilate itself, basically. So now, we're on to race number two. Uh, finishing order of race one, I think I ended up seventh. Quincy had a really good run, ended up second. Gabe ended up sixth. I think John fifth. Heath was eighth. Uh, we're all mixed in top 10. Miguel fell back just at the last second to finish, I think 11th, if that. Our good friend Gary Campbell took the win. Uh, came out of nowhere, just a rocket. Uh, overall, really good fun race. So we're on to race number two. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully we can put uh, one of these cards up front. Uh, rule, of run, uh, rule of thumb in road racing is you don't want to be the person leading at the end. And uh, I led all the way up to coming to a start freight, straight. And then I didn't lead. So that's a good rule. Uh, We'll see how it goes. Good group of people, really fun. You haven't tried road racing? Whole different experience. Whole different experience. Let's just leave it at that. Yeah, I give it a shot. On to race two. Uh, Miguel was starting right behind me, so I was going to let him slide in front of me from the very beginning. And then we were going to go and try to work this strategy out instead. Uh, the goal this time was not to leave Miguel's bumper. I uh, just got a good run at the start of the race again. And uh, decided to go from here. Here we were together, uh, 27 comes on the inside, Quincy was going with him, and you see Rubens Jr. on the inside as well. Uh, Quincy slides up, uh, Rubens in a little bit will slide in front, and then we get a good TB cart train going. This is what I call an eye of the storm. Uh, if you ever want to do road racing, this is what 206 road racing looks like. Uh, it's like a high speed chess match. You're all jostling for positions. Uh, everybody was staying really clean. Uh, carts were moving around a lot, but we were able to keep it under control. I know everybody says this, oh, you're only doing 70, 71 miles an hour, but at this rate of speed, going side by side, I, I don't know how many laps we did side by side, even three wind to turn one. So um, if you haven't tried it, give it a shot. Uh, trust me, you'll never go back. I do it uh, two or three times a year, and I usually sprint race, but this is a whole different animal. It's just a blast to try it out.
So coming up to the front straight away here, it's about to get a little hairy. Um, you're going to see at the left, there goes John with Heath. Uh, I don't know where those two came from. And then John decides to slide around the outside of Margay. So here we're three wide down the front stretch, uh, battling uh, in and out of position. Uh, just doing the best we can to push each other. Uh, here... We're about to go into turn three, and I'm looking left and right, seeing how much space we have. And uh, you know what? Sometimes you just got to buckle up and just send it. So uh, it was a pretty cool experience. Uh, I loved it. So here there's just a couple laps left. Uh, I saw that we were not really moving forward or moving back. So I told Miguel, I looked at Miguel here in a second. I slid to her right. I gave him a sign to switch positions real quick to see if I can make some more movement headway up forward. Um, my goal now was to try to head up to the front and pull me go with me. Um, I had Quincy and Rubens around. I was going to give them the sign here as well. I told Rubens to slide in behind me as well so we can line up another train and uh, let me give it a shot to get around the top three. But those three were working really well together. I don't know if they knew each other, but they were to make it happen. Right here, I need the top two ready to go since they locked up and went. Uh, <laughs> I was just like, whoops, all right, I guess it's time to uh, let it rip. At this point, the top two locked up and they weren't unlocking each other. I dropped Miguel, so I started to slow down, knowing that without a drafting partner, I was not going to be able to chase the top two down. Uh, I told, gave Miguel a sign to let's go and thought it was best. Well, let's just swap positions. Uh, I'm going to let him buy here in a second, and then we're just going to send it, the pedal to the metal, and not let up for a couple laps. Uh, at this point, the only way to catch up was just to push, and we pushed, and we were able to chase them back down. So at this point in the race, we were trying, we were starting to chase them down. Uh, they had a half a straightaway on us to begin, and then we were able to chase them back down. Uh, we did make a run at the end at the uh, checker flag. Uh, I did not know it was a checker flag. If no, if not, we would have had a bet lot better chance. Uh, we still were able to finish uh, P2 and P3. Really happy with the run. Glad I was able to help Miguel back out, get up front, and, uh, give people a good show at the line. Um, overall, thank you, TB Cart USA. Thank you to all the teammates. It was an excellent run. Um, I love the event, and I'll definitely Go be back. Go back, grabbed him, and then worked our way back up to the front. A big thanks to everyone here at SSKC. God. Well, the day's over. We had two races in one. We had a first race, finished P7. Miguel finished P9. The second race, Miguel finished P2. I finished P3. We did gear change, uh, worked, worked together better. He fell back at the beginning. I was able to drop back, pick him up, and then work our way back up to the front. Uh, you need a drafting partner here. You cannot leave your drafting partner. Uh, huge thanks to SKC, Southern Car Club, for putting this together, for making it work, for for doing the what they need to do to put, giving us a double header, yeah, and in one day. Also, big thanks to them for letting us play around. Uh, I know, I know, we get on their last nerve. But uh, these this this uh, group of uh, officials, uh, <laughs> they're just amazing. Uh, I know, and they they have us in their best interest. So super glad to work with them, and I can't wait for uh, March to be back here. Uh, thanks for everything. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, catch you guys soon.